Hi, I'm Alexey Mikhailov. I'm a founder of Bering Yachts. For a long time, we were planning to film these videos. We'll tell about how we build the boats in details, hands-on, like very, very small details of every aspect of our process. And we want your participation, we want your questions, comments. Please stay with us and participate. Building a boat is a long and complicated process. It takes a lot of planning to organize everything in a way that makes construction a smooth and problem-free operation. Here are the main steps we go through while building bearing boats. Choosing a boat from Bering's model line based on the owner's needs. Selecting standard and or custom options with the owner. Finalizing interior design concepts. Drawing the boat. Getting acceptance from the owner on the designs and engineering. Laying the keel. Constructing and turning the hull. Connecting the hull and the superstructure. Sandblasting and painting. Electrical wiring. Installing pipes and other communication lines. Insulation. Installing machinery and equipment. Building the fire protection system. Installing flooring, walls, and furniture. Launching the boat. Adjusting systems and equipment. Going on sea trials. Putting the final touches on the boat. Handing the boat to the customer. Many of these processes go on simultaneously rather than in a step-by-step -step sequence. For example, furniture drawings and construction occur at the very beginning, but installation occurs toward the end of the process. Here is Alexi to explain more about what a semi-custom boat is. All bearing boats are semi-custom. What we mean when we say semi-custom, yes, we have a line of boats, a distinctive models, which are not changing exterior-wise, architecture-wise. There are some changes on exterior furniture or modifications of the certain decks. Uh, however, we keep the styling. For interiors, it's much more uh, customizing allowed. We allow customer to choose the design of interiors, the concepts of design. Uh, smaller boats have less flexibility in layouts. However, uh, larger boats over 24 meters, uh, we also have flexibility of layouts, uh, shifting bulkheads. Um, not so for the smaller boats. However, we customize the boats, especially interiors, uh, very vastly. And um, mechanical-wise, we have uh, pretty much all boats set, but we have long list of options which you can add. Uh, some options you can, like some standard uh, functions you can subtract, some not. However, it's all contribute to our semi-custom approach and in fact it's very deep customizing of the boat which will be suited to your particular needs. Every production phase has its own timing. At times, each production stage takes place one after the other. However, more often, they take place simultaneously. Deadlines and the order we do things matter a lot because uh, some works cannot start before others are finished. But the biggest role goes into coordination and planning ahead of time. The boat building process moves along almost like an orchestra playing in unison. Machinery installation and piping, electrical wiring and furniture installation, Fixing the upholstery and flooring take place all at the same time, respectively. Everyone is contributing their part just on time to keep the harmony flowing. And of course, not forgetting our owners, as we work in close cooperation with our owners at each stage of the production, so the owners work very hard too. Our first step is to agree with the owners on the size. After that, the metalworks can begin. The drawings of the interior and exterior designs and layouts take longer, well into construction. Everything related to design, functionality, furniture, colors, textures, and so on should be set prior to certain construction states. It's possible to make changes at the later phases of construction, but the closer to the end, the higher the price will be. Talking designs might be a tiring process, so let's look at the actual construction. The first official stage of construction is the keel laying ceremony. 
It's like the birth of a boat, and the owner typically participates in a ceremonial installation of this main structural part of the yacht. Sometimes they even weld a coin into the keel. This process initiates the hands-on building of the boat. Constructing the hull moves along according to the 3D model built by our naval architects. Most bearing hulls are built upside down to allow ease of access to our welders. The thickest 10 millimeter marine steel bottom plates are welded together with eight to six millimeter side plates to the keel and the bulkheads. And after the welding process is completed, it is time to turn the hole over. Using two cranes, one to lift the construction from one side and another to lower it from the other, the hull is turned over and put onto the building berth. The hull turning process takes several hours as it should be done very, very carefully. Now our hull is turned over and put into place. Let's proceed to the next step, connecting the superstructure with the hull. The aluminum spare structure is made with a hull of 6 to 10 mm marine grade aluminum. Since aluminum and steel are different metals, Connecting of the two cannot perform through simple welding, riveting or bolted joints due to the high risk of corrosion. Bearing uses another technology, it's called triglat. It's very effective by forming a hermetic metal joint that cannot be penetrated by water. After the hull and spare structure connected, construction and welding works are finished, the sandblasting and painting works are the next. Sandblasting is a method used to clean and prepare the boat surfaces for the paint job. High pressure sand saws down all the unwanted layers, removing rust and smoothing the metal in the process so that the paint can stick better. In addition to aesthetic reasons, the paint acts as a protective outer layer, stops corrosion and prevents rusting. It also slows down the organism buildup on the exterior shell of the vessel. There are several brands of paint used in production each serving a specific purpose. Once the paint dries out, we move on to wiring, piping, and communication systems installation. Bearing uses different teams to install electrical wires, plastic, and metal pipes. Again, this work can be done simultaneously or sequentially. Teams can go from the bottom up or vice versa. We can do this because we have a 3D model we follow. Typically, the process starts at the lower levels. Kilometers of wires and pipes are installed and it is very important to be thorough and attentive while performing the process. Different types of wires and pipes are used for different systems and most of them should be insulated. The insulation is an important part of every boat building. We insulate from noise and vibration, water and fire, high and low temperatures, and corrosion and condensation. The number of materials and insulation techniques to insulation is large. For example, we use rock cooler fire master material to protect from fire. We insulate the pipes and electrical wires. Separate plates are used to absorb noise and vibration. Protective mascots and pastes are used for thermal insulation and sound control. This list goes on and on and again, different specialists are used to install different types of insulation. What is also critical for timing of the boat delivery is that equipment installation, and furniture teams work on the board. Up to 50 people from 8 teams can be working on one boat simultaneously. Considering how much work it is to install communication lines and insulation, it is difficult to imagine some of the other processes that go on board at the same time. However, the equipment is also installed simultaneously. This includes the engine, generators, batteries, stabilization systems, controllers, pumps, compressors, conditioners, shafts and propulsion system, and propellers. The engineers calculate what capability is needed for the normal work of the boat, and the design team draws and plans the installation and sizing of the machinery. Equipment wiring and cable tracing is another part of electrical and piping work, and it adds to the overall process of installing the communication lines. On top of that, there is installation of the fire protection equipment, including fire extinguishers placed throughout the boat as well as an automatic fire suppression system, which protects the spread of fire from the engine room. But that isn't all of the work that is occurring simultaneously on board. As discussed previously, drawing the furniture and interior starts at the very beginning, and by this time, most of the parts have been made. 
Once the communication lines and equipment are installed, the wooden interior work begins. We have discussed bearing furniture works in a separate video. To be shorter, we create our furniture in-house and we make it modular and unified. Our teams use high-end materials that are protected from the elements and will serve for a long time. The modules are created in our furniture shop and then installed on board as a puzzle. Thanks to special computerized modeling, everything fits tight and snuggle. The flooring and walls, just like the furniture, are created from the materials that are weather and fire resistant. Flooring materials are also anti-slippery. The walls are not for decoration only, they hide the wiring and pipes. Therefore, they need to be installed after the communication process is finalized. Our installation teams make their works timely and professionally according to plan. And the plan takes us to the final stages of construction. After the mechanical work, discharge connections, under the hull installations and exterior works are finalized, the boat can be launched. The yacht undergoes vacuum testing to make sure the hull is watertight before going afloat. We use specialized trucks and trailers for transportation to the harbor, and then a crane lifts the yacht and carefully transfers her to the water. Prior to that, the well-known naming ceremony, which involves smashing a champagne bottle across the hull, takes place. This is how a boat gets her name, and when she is considered to be absolutely ready for launch. There she goes. Once the boat is launched, it goes through a preparation process for the sea trials. All of the main systems get checked, double checked, and triple checked to make sure everything is running smoothly. The attention to detail has to be sky high, especially when it comes to the engines, safety equipment, fire protection systems, and watertight doors. Steering, navigation, communication, and radar systems have to work properly before hitting the open seas. Insurance companies, customs agents, and classification society representatives all inspect the boat before the trial of the seas. Soon as the boat is clear to sail, it is taken out to the open seas to get her systems checked out there. The captain and the crew familiarize themselves with the vessel, check how she's performing, and test her ease of use and comfort levels. The engines and all the systems get checked once again, this time in real sea conditions and at maximum loads. Lastly, final adjustments are made in order to hand over the yacht to her owner in the best working condition. We think that everything starts when boat delivered. It's not over for us. It's a beginning. It's the beginning of your journey, and we are planning to be with you guys after delivery, help not only after sales support maintenance-wise or addressing the, the mechanical problems, no. It's, it's, uh, it's providing you with, with a new experience. We will make your life on the boat much more uh, enjoyable, 